This morning, new questions about what Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein did to save his job last September. Rosenstein, according to the Washington Post, pleaded with President Trump to keep him in charge of the investigation led by special counsel Robert Mueller. I give the investigation credibility, Rosenstein reportedly told the president. I can land the plane. But Mueller made no decision on obstruction of justice charges, leaving that determination to Rosenstein and Attorney General William Barr. The evidence developed by the special counsel is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. The Washington Post report stunning analysts who say it calls the entire investigation into question. He shouldn't be talking to the president about an investigation into the president under any circumstances. Rosenstein, who is set to leave his post as deputy AG next month, has acknowledged the stress he faced while trying to mollify the president and protect the Mueller investigation. One silly question that I get from reporters is, is it true that you got angry and emotional a few times over the past two years? Heck yes, didn't you? But he defended President Trump's handling of the investigation while insisting that Russia interfered in the 2016 election. That there was overwhelming evidence that Russian operatives had hacked American computers and defrauded American citizens. Rosenstein blamed critical decisions involving election interference on the Obama White House. The previous administration chose not to publicize the full story about Russian computer hackers and social media trolls. President Donald Trump claims the Mueller report cleared him of collusion while also suggesting that the entire investigation was an attempt to remove him from office. They tried for a coup, didn't work out so well. And I didn't need a gun for that one, did I?